Hello and welcome to the Solo Legion Show. My name is Ryan C. Banks. I'm the owner of Prolific Entertainment and the creator of a new team of superheroes called Solo Legion. On today's show, we're going to discuss what is a hero. I think it's really important before I introduce my full team of heroes, which there's 20 superheroes on my team. It's going to take quite a few videos to get through them. But before I do that, I really want to deal with what is a hero exactly? How do we define a hero? Okay. So to me, a hero is always going to be the opposite of the villain. So before we can describe a hero, before we can define a hero, we have to define what a villain is. So to me, by definition, a hero is the reaction in a positive way to the negative actions of that villain. So there's circumstances where bad things happen, no villains involved, uh, there's natural disasters. Those people who rescue individuals who are victims, they're also heroes. But typically what we see in stories, in fiction, in uh, real life dramas, we see there being a antagonist who is the villain then we have our protagonist who is the hero so the hero is actually the reaction to those negative actions of that antagonist so what we want to do is we want to go down a list of the heroes that have influenced me the villains that they went against um, and those genres are comics the bible civil rights movement medicine sports and religious freedom. So I want to take examples from each of those genres and say, Hey, what was the hero that inspired me in this genre? What was the villain that they fought? What was that villain's belief system? What was the core belief that that villain held that allowed them to be a villain? So we want to explore that. And there's a total of 22 people. I got a little carried away. So there's 22 examples, but I think it'll be engaging. I think it'll be fun. I think it'll give a very well-rounded sense of how a villain's core belief informs how they react to the world and how their reactions to the world have to be counteracted by the actions of the hero. So I think also in doing this, it'll show you why I created Solo Legion the way I did, what their core belief system is, what their uh, character traits are, what they fight for, um, the truths that they defend. So I'm hoping you guys enjoy this video. I'm hoping that it maybe enlightens you. I'm hoping that you're able to share it with someone else and uh, maybe inspire them to be a more heroic person. Okay, so look forward to your comments. Please like, please subscribe, please give us a thumbs up. Help us push this uh, positive message of heroism forward. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Have a good one. Here are seven examples of heroes in comics that influenced me. Spider-Man versus the Green Goblin. The Green Goblin was initially designed to be a demon-possessed man. However, his insanity was changed to be the result of toxic gas rather than demon possession. His mentality of embracing his insanity leads him to have no regard for human life. Spider-Man is the complete opposite, understanding that it is his duty to save every single life that he possibly can save. He lives by the belief that with great power comes great responsibility. Batman versus the Joker. The Joker gave up his belief in the goodness of humanity. He adopted the belief called nihilism, which in essence is the belief that nothing that we do ultimately matters. Therefore, no action or reaction can be truly defined as good or bad. Everything that the Joker does is based on how it makes him feel. The Joker believes that life is one big joke after another and lives to entertain himself by doing what he feels like doing, even when it kills other people. Batman is the opposite. He risks his life fighting crime and spends millions of dollars inventing equipment, vehicles, and weapons to protect the citizens of Gotham City and the world. Black Panther vs. Killmonger Killmonger's father is killed when he is young. He spends his time and energy seeking revenge for his father's death. Black Panther also loses his father but understands that hate and revenge will destroy him 
and cause him to destroy the world around him. Killmonger becomes his biggest adversary as Black Panther battles to prevent Killmonger from taking the throne of Wakanda and ruling with a vengeful spirit of ruthlessness. Wonder Woman vs. Ares Ares is a ruthless Greek god of war who promotes conflict and revels in the domination and death of others. Wonder Woman only believes in fighting for peace, justice, and equality. She believes in the goodness inside all of us. She fights to defend the world from Ares whenever he brings war to innocent civilians. Storm vs. Sentinels The Sentinels are giant robots that were created by Trask Industries for different nations to use to destroy the humans with mutant genes as well as humans who could potentially give birth to mutants. The Sentinels are the result of the belief that technology should be used to control and eliminate certain groups of people from society. Storm, along with her hero teammates called the X-Men, fight against Sentinels in order to protect the lives and freedoms of people whose differences make them a target for extermination. Professor Xavier vs. Magneto Magneto believes that the X gene in mutants gives them superiority over humans and makes mutants the rightful rulers over human beings. His superiority complex runs so deep that he is willing to kill for it. Professor Xavier opposes Magneto's views and believes that mutants and humans can exist peacefully together. He leads the X-Men in battles to protect humanity from Magneto and his league of villains who carry the mutant genes. Superman vs. Doomsday Doomsday is an almost indestructible monster who was genetically engineered as a living biological weapon with few feelings outside of hatred and a desire for the destruction of all life forms. When Doomsday discovers Earth and the vulnerability of human beings, Superman must stand in his way to prevent the destruction of all humanity. Superman eventually dies fighting Doomsday and represents the fact that sometimes heroes actually die so that others can live.